Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'm Janelle and today we're reading The Magic School Bus Hops Home. Miss Frizzle is the strangest teacher in our school. And it's not just because she wears such weird clothes. Last week, we were learning about animal homes. Everything was normal until Wanda brought her best friend, Bella the Bullfrog, to school. Wonderful, said Miss Frizzle. What does a bullfrog need in her home or habitat? A safe place to sleep, said Wanda. Water, said Ralphie. Food, said Dorothy Ann. Fresh air, said Arnold, as he opened the window. While we were making a habitat for Bella, she hopped out the window. Bella, wailed Wanda. Arnold, you let her get away. Miss Frizzle, may Arnold and I go look for Bella? A funny gleam came into Miss Frizzle's eyes. Good idea, Wanda, she said. Let's all look for Bella. Class, it's time for a field trip, said the Frizz as she marched us out the door. I knew it, groaned Arnold. Another one of Miss Frizzle's crazy field trips. But he climbed onto the old bus with the rest of us. Of course, Miss Frizzle said as we started off. The best way to find a frog is to be a frog. Suddenly we were spinning and getting smaller. Then the old school bus hopped away like a bullfrog. We hopped through the woods towards a fast running creek. I'm not feeling too well, Ralphie moaned as we took a bad bounce. Could we stop, please? What do you think, class? asked Miss Frizzle. Should we start looking for Bella here? This looks like a good frog habitat to me, Wanda said. Lots of insects to eat, plenty of running water. Let's look. Miss Frizzle stopped the bus. Everybody out, she said. We all looked around. Bella must be here, Wanda said as she ran toward the stream. Bella, she called. Wanda didn't see Arnold, who was looking at some rocks. She tripped in, kasploosh. They both landed in the cold, fast-running water. Help, yelled Arnold, as he and Wanda were swept downstream. Oh no, here comes a waterfall, cried Wanda. Just then, Miss Frizzle and the school bus calmly swam by. They scooped Wanda and Arnold into a big net. The bus dropped Wanda and Arnold gently onto dry land. Phew, said Wanda. The water in that stream is too fast, even for a frog. Ralphie shook his head. If Bella laid eggs in that water, they'd be two miles downstream before you could say ribbit. Excellent, said Miss Frizzle. Bullfrogs need to lay their eggs in quiet water. But where? Then something flew by that caught her eye. Aha! It's a great blue heron, said Miss Frizzle. Follow that bird! A great blue heron, said Arnold. Why are we following a great blue heron? The frizz did not hear him. She was already marching off. We hiked and hiked. Finally, we arrived at a big pond. Just as I thought, said Miss Frizzle. A beaver pond. Wow, said Arnold. The water is nice and quiet here. Carlos knew all about beavers. He had just read a book about them. He said, beavers need a quiet pond to live in, so they make their own habitat. They build a dam across a stream. Slowly, the place fills up like a bathtub. It turns into a pond. Plants grow. Bugs come to live in and eat the plants. And the bugs are food for other hungry animals. Like... Bella! Wanda yelled. There she is! She has everything she needs in her habitat, Arnold said. Plenty of space, lots of insects to eat, quiet water to lay her eggs in, and lots of fresh air, too. And a great blue heron about to eat her, gasped Wanda. Hold on, Bella, I'll save you. Before anyone could stop her, Wanda waded into the water. Wanda splashed toward the middle of the pond. She reached Bella's lily pad at the same time as the heron. Hop, plunk. Bella disappeared into the water. Help, yelled Wanda as the heron's beak poked toward her. We saw the heron fly away. For a moment, we could not see Wanda. Then we heard a squishing sound and saw Wanda coming out of the pond. 
Are you all right? Arnold asked. All right? I was almost a heron's lunch, Wanda sputtered. But where's Bella? Then Wanda saw Bella sitting on her lily pad, just as if nothing had happened. Bella! Wanda exclaimed happily. You're all right. You had better come home with me. You can't stay here where a heron might eat you. Not necessarily, Wanda, said Miss Frizzle. A heron might eat Bella, if it could catch her. Oh, said Wanda. You mean, Bella has places where she can hide from the heron. I guess they are a part of her habitat, too. But at least back at school she'd be safe. What about... Wanda was interrupted by a strange noise. Garump, Herman. Bella had a friend. Herman, he croaked. Oh no, said Arnold. We'll never get two frogs back to school. Wanda looked at Bella and her friend. You're right, Arnold, Wanda said, as she waded out to Bella's lily pad. Bella, Wanda said. You have everything you need right here. Quiet water, hiding places, food, space, and your new friend. I'm going to leave you here in the habitat you found. Bella, croaked Bella. Wanda walked back to us. We all climbed onto the school bus. As we hopped away, Wanda waved. Goodbye, Bella, she called. When we got back to school, we put away Bella's things. Arnold was glad to be back. Ah, he said, my desk, a roof over my head, my lunch, and my milk. It feels good to be back in my own habitat. Wanda did not look so happy. You miss Bella, don't you, said Arnold. Wanda nodded. Then we brought out something we had made for her. It was the world's biggest toy bullfrog. Surprise, we yelled. Tim pressed a button. Garump, croaked the frog. Wanda smiled. Thank you, said Wanda, giving the frog a big hug. I love it. It doesn't need water, food, or fresh air, said Miss Frizzle. And it won't jump out the window, said Arnold. <laughs>